hello guys in the last video we have discussed how to create a spring uh, project with the help of maven and uh, and we have seen how what are the table which are going to use and what are the operations you're going to perform all those things we are going to for, uh, discuss it here okay as i mentioned earlier i have a table called employee so i'm going to uh, create a dtu okay to adapt this information so let's go under create a dtu file class so which is my employee dao employee dao so my package is com dot programming guy programming guy or else guide me dot grad dot dao okay finish So what are my fields here? So I have uh, three string fields and one uh, integer field. Okay. So uh, private int employee ID and then private string first name, last name, and email. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to create a constructor for that on get a status as well. Okay. And I need to have a constructor which holds the username or first name. Okay, what is happening? Okay, I want all not all the constructors. I just need to have one constructor which takes my uh first name as an input so I need it uh, to perform the select find the particular record operation okay so now the employee DU is done so let's think about what are the operations you're going to perform if it is a database if it's a table create update and uh, find or delete these are the major operations which you're going to perform okay so we know that this is the employee DU which you're going to use it okay um, Okay, let's uh, create an interface for that. Okay, um, what did I, oh my god. This is not DU, this is a DTU. So let me refactor it. This is not an employee DU, it's an employee. Next. Finish. And then it's also under the DT, DU, uh, DU package. It has to be under DTU. So I need to keep it in the DTO package. Dot DTO. So basically, I always create a project which has a proper structure. Okay. So I have a DTO which is nothing but employee which is under create DTO. So let me create an interface. Okay. So the interface is nothing but employee DTO. That means you order the operation you are going to perform against the employee. Following that, you will create implementation as well. Okay, so let's create a few methods here. Public list of employee. Okay, get list of employees and in the input little dot list. Okay. So it's kind of select start from. So let's add an employee. So it takes employee as an input. Okay, then what else you're going to do? Anyway, if you're doing add and we're going to use the update as well. Okay, and when you're doing update, you're also do delete employee delete employee it takes my first name as input and what else you're going to do mm. uh, we can perf okay we can perform find okay so I'll give I'll provide some uh, 
employee name so it has to find the employee information so I can have a method called find employee which is takes my username as an input or first name it's not, not of a username it's a first name okay so these are the major operations you're going to perform okay let's see how we are going to provide the implementations for that okay new class so employee dao and this is not the interface i'm going to provide the implementation for that so i put impl okay finish so implements employee dao So when it is doing employee DO, you need to implement all the methods. Okay. So how we are going to do data here? Okay. So basically, what we are going to do is we are going to use a template model, which is nothing but named parameter Jerry with a template model. Okay. So and this particular class, it's a repository. Okay. We need to notify. You need to annotate it with a repository. Repository. Okay. So, what is happening here? Okay. No proposal have been found. Okay, so what is happening here? Okay, my own dependency or not mapped properly. Okay. So, what we are going to do is let's comment this and I'm going to do a Maven build or Maven clean. With the Maven uh, clean is done. So now, if you expand the Maven dependency, you'll have all the dependency here. Okay, let's uncomment this and input it. Okay, it's not repository, it's, rep it's repository. Okay, so now mouse over here and you can see the input. Okay, that's all. Okay, so and then now what we are going to do is we are going to create a you are going to use a template. So the template name called pa named parameter named the parameter jdbc template so just uh, give it a reference called template so let's create a setter method for that so i don't need the get okay i'm going to use the set method here okay so there is a possibility it will throw an exception so we can use throw data access exception okay that's all okay so now what we are going to do so I have a guest list of employees and all the interface are implemented here now because this particular JDBC template which will provide the database information. So this has to be configured in somewhere else because the JDBC uh, details, the username, password and what database and what uh, DB and all we will define in the server.xml that which we can uh, see it later. Okay. Uh, so what basically we are trying to do here I'm trying to get all the employee information okay let's do that so let's write a query string query world and you need to provide the query here okay let's get a query here go to select okay I want all Let's run it and see we got the response. Okay, we got the records. So I'm going to keep the uh, query here. So this is my query which I'm going to execute as part of a get list employee. Okay, so I'm going to get the information as a list of employee. So list world. So I'm going to use a template that query method. But there are different kind of method which is available in the query so the method which we are going to use query string sql and sql parameter source and row mapper this is the one which we are going to use it okay uh, okay so this is nothing but the first one which will accept the sql query 
and second one is uh, it accepts the SQL parameter resource okay and the row mapper the result set of the data okay I'm getting the information from the database I have to convert this result set as an employee okay so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have my query here I can replace it but here I'm just passing null as of now so yes I'm going to create a what is this okay so it's okay let's uh, comment it out as of now because I'm going to pass these two parameters so I had to create a new methods for that okay the first one is this particular method the second parameter which will accept the employee uh, SQL parameter source okay so I had to create a SQL parameter source which will adapt the employee so I had to private private uh, SQL parameter source and get SQL Perhaps by model, so which will uh, take my employee. Okay, so I'm going to map with the MySQL database. So, so I have to map the SQL parameter source here. And parameter source. parameter source okay so I'm going to return this okay so let's do it here, okay. So I'm gonna check whether employee is not equal to null. If AMP not equal to null, then I'm going to perform few operations here because I have to s s uh, set the parameter source which will use to all over the places, okay. So I can put something like the parameter source dot add value my key so on the key value which uh, I'm getting it from employee dot get employee ID so this is nothing but employee employee ID so I had to keep all the for example in your table if you have a four or five parameters you need to provide for all the columns here okay so I have employee ID and I have a first name and I have a last name and I do have a email and it has only four columns okay so get first name and get last name and here then get email okay that's all so now I have created the parameter resource okay this is which is nothing but the second parameter of the template query model okay the third one is the result set okay this result set which is uh, converting your particular data into an employee list okay so for that what you can do is for, for that what we are gonna do is we are going to create a class okay uh, which will implement the row mapper okay so I'm going to create a private class private static class here I can put as a final class and uh, what I can employee mapper employee mapper implements row mapper so then set as an interface we have to implement a method called map row okay so in this case I'm going to map it as a employee object is employee okay so so what we are going to do 
so I'm getting the information from the result set I'm going to convert as an employee here okay so let's make an object for my employee the new employee okay okay I don't need to find this employee in my table okay I have to create an a constructor which will accept okay we're good to go okay so employee dot set employee ID so I am going to get the employee ID from my result set okay so it's pretty much a straight for like our JDBC get get into of the field name employee ID which is there in the table structure so this is the column which we are referring here employee ID so and then I'm going to set the other parameters as well employee dot set first name okay and rs dot get string shortcut so my first name so here my set last name and here my last name and here set email which will be my email so I'm going to do this employee okay so let's enable this so the second parameter is nothing but it locks up this model so I'm going to input is null because I already have an employee here so I don't have to worry about that so then what I need to do is I need to use the new employee mapper okay give it and return this list. 